Problem 3, which of the following modes merely gives the effective net area of the tension member? Okay, so for the effective net area, so we determine that by using the formula A sub E equals U times A sub N. Okay, so for U, we have already solved for U. The value of our U is 0.6. For tensile rupture, when determining the net area, so we consider the section with both. So in this case, this will be our net section. In getting the net area, we will just subtract the area of the holes from the gross area. So for the net area, that is 15,100. Minus, we have two holes, and then we will get the standard hole size from the table. We will see in table J3.3 and table J3.3, the nominal hole dimensions. So we use this table, J3.3, if we have the problem in English units. So the unit for this both diameter and hole dimensions are all in inches and then if our problem is in SI units like in our case in the case of our problem so the units of all the whole dimensions here is in millimeters so the corresponding whole dimension for our bulk is 18 so by the way it is not indicated in the problem if we have standard size or oversize if that is the case, the default value is always the standard size. So in this case, our corresponding hole dimension is 18 millimeters. In addition, we also have another provision in determining the net area. So as you can read in this part, in computing net area for tension and shear, the width of a bolt hole shall be taken as 1 over 16 inch or 2 millimeters greater than the nominal dimension of the hole. So meaning aside from looking at the standard hole size, we will add another 2 millimeters because we have this provision in determining the net area. Overall, that is, we have the standard hole size, and then we add another 2 millimeters, and then we multiply this by the thickness of the angle. So the thickness of the angle is determined by reading the name. Okay, so as you can see, all the numbers in the name of the angle have meaning. So for 31.8, this is the corresponding thickness of the angle. Okay, so we will use that. So we have 31.8. Our net area becomes 13,828 millimeters squared. So after getting the net area, we can now compute for the effective net area. And that is equal to U times KN. So we have 0. 0.6 times 13828. 8296.8. So therefore, the effective net area is 8296.8, and that is letter C. Problem four: Which of the following most nearly gives the nominal strength based on tensile rupture? So we can already solve for this one since we already have the effective net area. So the nominal strength for tensile rupture is Fu times Ae. So we just substitute our values. F sub U is 400 and then Ae is 8296.8. So therefore, the nominal strength is A318.72. So this is in Newton. So if we're going to divide this by 1000, 
So, it will become 331.720 kN. Okay? And that is letter A. 